Hey guys, me Rebel Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, to radar first, there's our storm system. Now you can see the snow hitting the Wasatch rolling right up through Idaho and parts of northwest Montana. It won't be long before it reaches the Tetons and then it's going to pivot down into Colorado and hit hard tonight through tomorrow. And this has got a lot of wind with this storm system, a lot of jet stream support with this, and we're just washing that wind all the way down to the surface. So here's what I'm seeing. Actually, you know what? Let me just show you the live view up from Solitude up there in Big Cottonwood Canyon. Snow is coming down, so radar matching up with this quite well. You've got moderate snow accumulation all the way through tonight, and then it picks up overnight with heavy accumulation throughout the day tomorrow. So thinking probably 15, 16 inches up there, grand total. Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon. Maybe I'll touch more up in Little, but uh, that's what I'm thinking right now. Okay, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So here are my bullet points. So we've got a storm system today, tonight, tomorrow. Then we're going to watch things transition slowly into more of a spring pattern across the west. Looking further down the road, you've got a big area of high pressure that's going to start to set up at some point. It's just looming. And um, just back to the storm system, strong wind gusts, Utah, Wyoming, and especially Colorado. We're going to get blasted here in Colorado on Saturday with wind gusts of 80 widespread over the top of the high peaks and in particular on the Continental Divide and east. Um, all the way down through the foothills and across Denver and the Front Range, 80, 90, mi 80, 100 miles an hour, not out of the question, up around Nederland and Eldora, Longs Peak, Winter Park, Berthoud Pass, 80, 90, 100 miles an hour. All right, you can see the timeline there for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado in the northeast. I took out the Sierra because I just don't see much in the extended forecast. So here's how you read it. Here's what I'm forecasting in the Wasatch. Moderate snow accumulation tonight transitioning over to heavy accumulation um, through tomorrow. In Colorado, heavy snow and wind tonight through tomorrow, light accumulation on uh, 4-8. And in the northeast, you've got a rain-snow mix. That's what's next. That's coming 4-11, 4-12, 4-13. It looks pretty warm. Not sure if it's going to be rain or all snow. Could be a mix of both. Okay, let me just take you into uh, water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon and just kind of give you the lay of the land. So in this year, moisture aloft is in your whites and your blues. And there's our, our storm system still spinning back here, but it's throwing this boundary out ahead of it with a lot of wind. And there's your precip kind of lagging behind it. That's what's going to run through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, all the way through tomorrow. Um, so that's forthcoming. There is another storm system behind it, but everything is going to kind of get, and there's another one there, kind of get lost in the shuffle for a round and go up and around. Behind this storm, there may be one more that dives in behind it down through extreme New Mexico and, and probably grazing Colorado, but then it's possible an area of high pressure comes in. In fact, let me show it to you on the latest jet forecast. So there's your dip in the jet. There's our storm system. Crosses Utah, Wyoming, Colorado through tomorrow, opens up the wind. Um, the gates for the wind and all of that just blows in. And you can kind of see the next little short wave coming into the Pacific Northwest and then watch it. There it is traveling down through California. It's diving down on 4-7 into the southern tier. Uh, it's spinning through Arizona, eventually New Mexico, the Four Corners and Colorado on 4-8, 4-9, there it is. And then by 4-10, it's really exiting and you can kind of see the high pressure ridging behind it. There's probably energy on the northern branch up into the Pacific Northwest in BC, but there's definitely some high pressure ridging indicated here. Forecast radar, satellite at 5.30 today. You can see the snow eventually making it into the Tetons. The rest of Montana, Idaho, the Wasatch, and starting to blow snow and blow up there in, in a lot of the, uh, the western slope of Colorado. All right, there we go. And there it is in earnest by tomorrow morning. Heavy snow across the western slope of Colorado along with a lot of wind. Still seeing some snow on the backside through the Tetons, the Wasatch, Idaho, and Montana. Uh, and it's still there. Now, this is the interesting part. The low starts to move to the north into Wyoming, Montana, and the, you can see that deformation zone of heavy precip starting to set up. That's 4-6 in the afternoon. And there it is on 4-7. Starts to break. There comes that second area of low pressure diving down to, towards the four corners. You can see the little speckles of precip and cloud cover. And there it is. It starts to develop into a little bit of a Colorado, New Mexico low there on 4 8, 4 9. So we may see some additional accumulation in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. And then that whole thing starts to move away. And here comes what's left on the uh, with the northern branch and then high pressure ridging settles in 4 11, 4 12. Most of the energy is up into parts of the Pacific Northwest and BC. 
So there we are in 414, a little dirty over parts of Colorado. Here are my latest numbers. Grand totals by late 414, most of what you see in Utah and uh, Wyoming. Again, that happens tonight, tomorrow. Um, you can see anywhere from maybe a foot to a foot and a half there through uh, Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. In Colorado, most of the big stuff is across the western slope, 4 to 12 inches, maybe 4 to 14. A little bit less in Summit County and up on the Continental Divide. Okay, let's go and uh, break this down by time period. But before I do, I want to show you the wind forecast for tomorrow in Colorado. Anywhere in that tan color, that white tan is 50 plus. So that's a lot of territory at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But looking at 50 to 70, 80, 90, 100 mile an hour winds, not out of the question. Just the bottom line is a very windy day, especially in the afternoon tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, into Sunday morning, in fact, in most of Colorado. Okay, let's look at the snow by time period. So this is the rest of today through tomorrow, and there are your numbers. Again, most of this happens tonight, tomorrow, across the Wasatch, the Tetons, and also in Colorado. Next time period, this is 4-7 through 4-9. You've got the, the low lifting north. That's where we're going to see some additional snow in Wyoming and Montana. And what you're seeing in Colorado, New Mexico, that happens with that second storm. It's very small, but it dives in on 4-8 and 4-9. Final time period. 410, a little bit of leftover snow in Colorado, kind of sliding down with the uh, the jet stream. Otherwise, everything starts to shift up into Canada after 410, and that's where we're going to see the accumulation. All right, into the northeast. Um, again, late in the period, we might have some rain or snow, and that's where we're seeing kind of some of this accumulation come from, but I just don't have anything big. Certainly, we just had that major storm system roll through, so there'll be some good snow through the weekend, but I just don't have anything else big with snow on the horizon. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll end on the grand total map, and you can see where we still have good snow yet to fall in Colorado, the Wasatch, the Tetons, and parts of Montana. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.